notes here. Let's back up a little bit. Lined up as much as I can. And you can see that I'm trying to get all this lined up correctly. You can see it's a little bit off in some places. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it perfect, but this is at this size. And I want to show that um, I'm using uh, this right here to, I'm changing within the action bar uh, object, which describes this piano as well as the, um, the minimal one. I have two functions, make full piano transform and also get Y scale. There are two functions that call, get called at various points uh, when it's making this, and then I just call it directly. So when I run this, it's going to change that. Let me, so let's change the skew to, uh, let's change it to 22 and see what happens. Okay, you can see that gets all warped. Um, I could change the Y scaler to, uh, let's make that 4. Instead of two, you can see it affects that. Left adder, uh, um, that just gets added to the left. <laughs> when, let's ch change that to nine and see if it, um, what was that, five. Yeah, you can see it subtly moves it. Scalar 99, let's try uh, 88. Okay, it's how much it, you get the idea. These are just some numbers that together you can tweak them. I may mess with this logic. I may also work in, here's a geometry settings um, thing <laughs> that just has a bunch of settings that are sort of hard coded. Uh, but there's this logic here where there's variations and I go through this loop and just get the one that's closest to the action bar Y and then apply its things. It's far from perfect, but it it is probably the best thing I can use to just adapt it for different size screens because as you'll notice, even if this looks pretty well lined up here, um, it may not be as perfect. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Um, here so far. So we'll we'll see how that goes. Um, but that's it for that.